New French law bans LGBT conversion therapy in France. On July 25th, with an overwhelming 142 votes to zero, the French National Assembly officially passed a new law that bans LGBT so-called conversion therapy. The new law also imposes criminal penalties on those who practice the pseudoscientific therapy. These penalties include a possible sentence of several years in jail and fines of up to 45,000 euros or $34,000 USD for cases involving children and vulnerable adults. According to MP Lawrence uh, Vincent Brock Milan, I don't know how to say these French names. Um, the law sends out a strong signal because the law condemns those who quote consider uh, condemns those who consider a change or of sex or identity as an illness. Um, is Elizabeth Moreno, France's Equalities and Diversity Minister, condemned conversion therapy by calling such practices barbaric? French President Emmanuel Macron expressed his support on Twitter saying, let's be proud of it because being oneself is not a crime. Similar laws have been passed in countries such as Canada, Germany, Brazil, Ecuador, Malta, and Albania. You know what I'm going to say? I do know what you're going to say. I mean, this is France for fuck's sakes. Are you serious? Only now? Only this is France. How did this last? How did this? take so long so you're telling me that conversion therapy was legal in france until just recently how did i they, don't know how about, did this take them so long i think there were some other kinds of provisions against it but this is like the most firm legislation against it ever okay well thank you for joining the 21st century france friends what the fuck you know what i was thinking when i was preparing for this new story because i knew you were going to say this because you always say this you know i think i understand where you're coming from because you're like we want this to have already happened already but i think when you say that you're doing a disservice to how much progress we've undergone in such a short period okay. of time like well, it was only to say that. it was only the 1970s that it was considered a mental pathology to be homosexual, right? That's an incredible amount of progression in only a handful of decades. Yeah, but we're also talking about France, which is supposed to be one of the most, if not the most secular countries on the goddamn planet, okay? They are so secular that they even have a different name for it. They're like, we're not even secular, we go extra. We have lazy <laughs> <laughs> All right? Like, we're not... <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so, I mean, if, the, if a country this secular, I mean, what was the justification for conversion therapy if it, they're like, like religion is supposed to have no influence? Like, it's, I don't know. Well, there probably know. wasn't a justification so much as there just had to be the political push to actually go the length of formally banning it. Okay, you know, well, there had to be the political will, well, I guess, yeah, or the incentive friends, in their constituents. For, okay, great. Thank you, friends, for banning conversion therapy. Hey, wait. So you're saying you're telling me that Canada was ahead of France over this because Canada, we like we banned yes. this, and you and Susanna, you should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're wait, <laughs> so you're behind us, right? So yes. Canada is ahead of France, apparently. So good job, Canada. And United States is still behind both France and Canada. Unbelievable. Canada, um, Canada. Um, <laughs> what surprised me though, in terms of countries that have already banned it, Albania was really surprising to me because Albania is a Muslim majority country, right? Right. Uh, I was like, well, huh. Yes, uh, well, Albania is like a Muslim country that it doesn't act feel or do anything <laughs> like a muslim country i think it's the like, only secular muslim majority country and also when you look at pictures of albania like you're like wait this is a muslim country <laughs> like how is this well, that's just, this... I, I think you just think that because they're like european they're caucasian no i mean the buildings and yeah i mean i'm being stereotypical which is good not to use albania as a way not to you're know, like you just like look at it it's like these buildings doesn't I just doesn't look like I don't know. The weather is not Islamic. <laughs> the weather isn't Islamic. <laughs> like nothing about everything nothing is in a sepia tone. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Nothing here looks 
Islamic to me, and apparently this is still an Islamic country. It's like okay, um, but okay. There's no. This comment, this I don't one. see yellow sands here. Where are the camels? <laughs> like what? What are you saying, Armin? <laughs> hey, I don't say that. I come from Iran. There's no like I grew up in Tehran. There's no sands or camel in Tehran. I, I still get Islamic vibes. I mean, I mean, see, I see Yah Hussein somewhere on the fuck at the street, and like I see a <laughs> mosque or something once every. I mean, I'm sure there are mosques, and I just. It, it, um, oh my god. All right, but read this comment. This is a good comment. I like um, secular rarity is staying. I think you both bring a different viewpoint on these types of things, on these news, and that's why I really value and love this show. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Um, <laughs> yes. no, but I wanted to bring it up because, in many other ways, Armin is really stresses the importance of appreciating progression and not dismissing that when fighting for, um, new social justice matters but on this i feel like you're just very quick to be like well come on guys where are you no i mean i appreciate the progress but i also also think like i'm promoting putting a fire up as the like i'm also like shaming any progressive country that is not there i i don't think i'm like because here's the thing i don't think i'm being harmful when i say that because the law has already passed you know what i mean like the, like it's not like they're gonna be like well if you don't well if armin doesn't appreciate this maybe we should like go back i don't think that's about to happen when i talk like that right but i think like shaming countries for retroactively not doing this past, shaming them no, yeah ret you're retroactively shaming them and it also shows how any other country that is like not even there yet should be ashamed like you know what i mean so yeah i think like i think it's helpful to i think like um being happy that something happens while at the same time telling people that this is not happening fast enough i think that's a good combination i don't see any issue with that. i think you should do both okay i think i i get i think i get upset when somebody does one of them but not the other but i think here we do both of them right like i think like if people say like oh united states has committed does has all these ugly things in this past right and they don't highlight the good parts i have an issue with that but I also have an issue with people who only highlight the good things and don't highlight the dark past, right? So I think like my issue is only when people just only do one. I think we should do both. You highlighted something? Oh, oh yeah, it was that. just Katie saying that Albania is much too brightness. We need to put a sepia filter on it. <laughs> yes, make it yeah. I think a sepia filter is like more Islamic. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. you crazy. <laughs> or, crazy. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, okay, here, let me just actually make my point here, Albania, okay? Just go, okay. Okay, there's some, okay, here, let me, let me show you, all right? Oh, boy. No. He's committing. Yeah, okay, so if you look enough, you'll see, okay, so here's, like, when you look at, the, oh, where are these solo res? Yeah, like, this screams, like, Eastern Europe to me, which is, technically, it is yes but i guess here you can see like something islamic right oh wow i want to go to albania now yeah damn this is pretty okay there's one thing islamic here but most of it is like i mean having a mosque next to this to me it doesn't seem like this was or, or originally islamic country right it comes across as a country that was supposed to be like non-islamic and they had a migration of Muslims, and they're like, fine, we'll build a mosque for you, all right? <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't come across as a country that was like OG Muslim. I mean, technically it wasn't. It was like, um, it was. I guess actually that makes sense because it was. It had a history of not being Islamic at some point in time. Hey, I, I'm, I feel vindicated. Th that is actually what happened. Okay, so never mind. I feel like you are exhibiting your internalized stereotypes. I am, I am. I'm an acknowledging that that's, that is my internalized stereotypes, right? So I am acknowledging it. Um, I'm, not in, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm being, I'm being transparent about my stereotypical view of things. Um, all right. Which means Islam equals sepia tone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, can we... Um, um <laughs> I, I grew, I grew up, up in Ghana. minnesota so i don't know what islamic weather is says an ex-muslim 
Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.